What's going on everyone? It's Riley and I'm back with another haul video. Uh, this is my first haul of new manga and some other stuff for April of 2020. Am I wearing the same sweater that I was wearing in my previous video? Yes. Have I taken a shower since my previous video? No. Is my wife downstairs watching TV very loudly and can you possibly hear the bass thumping through the floor? Maybe. Do I care? No. It's quarantine time. Anything goes. My hair is greasy. Uh, whatever. It is what it is. Um, last night I put out a video that I'm really happy with the response to. Uh, hasn't gotten a ton of views yet, but the people who have viewed it are the people that I was hoping would see it. Um, so if you have any curiosity about the Knights of Zodiac, or as it was originally known in Japan, Saint Seiya manga series, um, check that video out. It's, uh, I think it's worth checking out. Um, it's the previous video on my channel. Look at my channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, press the bell, tell it you want all the notifications for every time I put out a video so that you can know when my new content hits. Um, but anyway, got a haul today. Um, I forgot to film a haul video when I got this package like last week. So that's my fault. Um, I think I got these books in on Monday. So I'm going to talk about these real quick. And then I'm going to talk about the other stuff that I have that just came in. So anyway, first, these are new books for April. The first week of April books from Right Stuff Anime um, have already come to me. They haven't sent notification about shipping for any of the stuff for the rest of the month. So the second week and stuff like that. Um... So I, I don't know exactly when they'll send those, but when they do, I'll do another video. Anyway, the stack I have here, so this is volume three of Jujutsu Kaisen. This has been really fun so far. I've heard good things about how the series develops. I'm definitely enjoying it and looking forward to reading the third volume. Um, yeah, it's, if you know, if you're curious about it, um, basically it's stuff dealing with afterlife spirits, yokai type stuff in like a high school shonen setting um and it's like a shonen battle manga essentially uh it's it draws comparison to other similarly type of series like you know bleach has this high school setting but then brings in like the uh soul reapers the shinigamis and stuff like that so it kind of draws comparison there uh also a little bit to black torch the shonen jump series that was uh, canceled. It only had about five volumes, but anyway, I recommend it. It's a fun series. Check it out. Uh, then I have Boruto volume eight. I haven't watched any of the Boruto. Boruto. It's like, I want to say Naruto at the same time. And then I just, uh, I haven't watched any of the Boruto anime at all. Um, I, I, I didn't really care. I didn't watch the Naruto anime either. I, I read the entire Naruto series and then I read the, uh, what was it? The, Scarlet Spring or whatever the little epilogue volume was and I enjoyed that and I was like okay I'll, I'll check out Boruto whenever it releases in the U.S. and I've really enjoyed the manga so far it's not deep or anything it's typical shonen stuff but it scr scratches that itch that Naruto left after that was a series that I was reading since geez I was in middle school uh so like 2003 2002 or something so when you, you're reading a series for that long and then all of a sudden it's gone uh of course i'm gonna be like yeah i'll i'll read something else to kind of fill that hole and it's not as good but it's entertaining it, it's you know it's worthwhile and then we've got volume 35 this is the penultimate volume of food wars um this series i really enjoyed i know a lot of people will talk about like oh the quality went down after such and such volume and such and such arc i really enjoyed it and i'm excited that it's almost done i'm gonna see the conclusion to the series um it's a fun series there is a decent amount of fan service especially in the earlier part of it so if you've never read it before i don't want to tell someone like oh yeah go read it it's about cooking and food and then they open it up and they're like what um because that can be bad. But anyway, it's almost done. I'm excited to see how it concludes. Um, I'm always excited to read <clears throat> long-running uh, manga onto their conclusion. Speaking of long-running manga, 
93 of One Piece. Uh, we are still in the Wano arc, of course. There are uh, a couple volumes, a few volumes behind Japan, as is normal uh, for the series. They have to keep come some kind of space behind it. But this one goes up to, I think, chapter 940, 942. Um, and they're like 970-something, almost 980 in Japan right now. Um, I have to admit, I fell behind so I haven't read any of the material in this volume, which is exciting for me because now that we're, I at least, am stuck at home, nothing to do, um, I'm going to catch up on One Piece again and probably binge like 50 chapters in one sitting, um, which is exciting because that's how I really like to do One Piece. Uh, I took a long break from it and read basically from Fishman Island all the way through the... Uh, beginning of the big mom arc uh in one sitting like i waited years and just read all of that at once and it was awesome um but anyway one piece fantastic i've also been reading that one since about 2003 so it's gonna be a big you know shock whenever that's done and that's out of my life um but at the same time i'm excited to see when it does conclude you know i'm, I'm i've been following it for so long and it's still ongoing and it doesn't show any particular signs of stopping, even though logistically, if you're thinking about the geography of the world in One Piece and how long it's been before they hit the red line and after they hit the red line, they should be coming towards a conclusion sometime in the next couple years. But it all depends on what Oda does and what he wants to do with the series. Whatever he has planned, I'm fine because the series is top notch. Um, start to finish, it's great anyway and then the last new release i have is mob psycho 100 volume 4 from dark horse uh fun series from the creator the writer of uh one punch man um this one i know had a really popular anime that i think is two seasons deep at the moment um if you know my channel if you know me i don't watch a lot of anime specifically i don't watch a lot of anime that are based on manga the anime that i do watch are usually the ones that are original anime like Cowboy Bebop, you know, was originally an anime, and then they had manga that spun off of it, just for an example. Um, but I've heard a ton of good things about the mob anime, specifically from my good friend Gio, uh, who you can see on his channel A Week in Geekdom. Uh, he has pushed me multiple times to try and watch it, and at some point I probably will, because the English release for this series is super slow. The series is done in Japan, I think, with 17 volumes, but... We're only on volume four out here, and it's always getting delayed. Every single volume that's come out, I've you know I'll put a pre-order in with Right Stuff, and they'll be like, "This volume has been delayed for a month. This has been delayed by two months, and stuff like that." And that always happens with Mob, and that's even before the current situation. Where, by the way, I think on my last video, I mentioned that Right Stuff should still be able to ship stuff. They still are. They're still getting new new material in um, right now because they don't order from diamond and this is you're gonna be like what what's going on if you don't know about the situation with diamond distributors but kadansha and therefore also vertical which is under kadansha um have delayed all of their releases that were scheduled for like the the rest of the spring and like early summer they've delayed those to late summer and fall so we'll see if that remains true um so those are the the five new release books that I have um, for the beginning of April. Like I said, I don't know when I'll get the rest of my April stuff. Um, hopefully they ship a package pretty soon so I can get the second week stuff. I honestly don't remember everything that I ordered and when it's due out. I just know that I had um, a few volumes from Kadansha that were delayed. Uh, but anyway, so I got a couple of other things and these two sets were in relation to the video that I made about Knights of the Zodiac yesterday. Um, I bought them because I was like, oh, I'm going to read all this stuff, and then I'm going to be very well informed before I go into this video, and it's going to be great. And then I realized um, I don't really need to read anything to get informed, for because I'm basically just going to be like, and then there's this series, and then there's this series, and then move on. So that's just me trying to make an excuse for wanting to order something new. Uh, and that was, one of them is Saintia Show, the Knights of Zodiac Saint Seiya spinoff. 
uh, that is about a female group of saints. This is the most recent of the Knights of Zodiac spinoffs. I mentioned in the video that I did yesterday that there are over 100 volumes of spinoff, not including the main 28 volume series, but over 100 volumes of just spinoff volumes. Uh, Lost Canvas, Next Generation, all the different stuff. Um, yeah, over 100 volumes, yet only one of them... Santia Show has been translated. Uh, Seven Seas is doing the English publication of this series. I don't know if they have any plans for further titles, if they have plans for any of the other spinoffs. Um, I'm guessing that the reason it's not going through Viz because Shueisha did not publish any of the other spinoffs in Japan. I think they might have done one spinoff, but I'm pretty sure it was only the main series. So that's why this isn't going through Viz. Um, yeah, there are nine volumes in the U.S. so far. In Japan, I think they're up to volume 13. It is still ongoing. There are still three different Knights of Zodiac, Saint Seiya um, spinoffs that are ongoing. So I'm excited to jump into these. It's been literally 10 years since I finished the original uh, Saint Seiya series so it's going to be fun to return to that world after a decade and read something new um as well the anime is now on netflix so i'm probably going to watch that because i know that there's a new arc in there that was never in the manga and then i know that there's a spinoff stuff and i know that people are going to comment and be like oh my gosh yeah because i it's stuff that i haven't experienced yet so they're going to be like this information and this information and it's very cool i appreciate people giving me the information um, but I'm not sitting here trying to say that I'm an expert on that when literally all I've read is the main series because that's really all we had for a long time in the U.S. But anyway, and then the next one is also related to that. Like I said, excuse me, leaning over here. And that is Beat X. Uh, this is another, it's not a spinoff of Saint Seiya. Uh, it is by the creator of the series. It was published by Tokyo Pop, and there's a total of 16 volumes. Um, I got most of the series used for actually extremely cheap. Uh, very, very cheap. So I have almost all of it at this point. Uh, I got the first 10 volumes, or no, first 11 volumes, plus volume 13. So I'll just go through those real quick. One, two, and you can see the artistic similarities uh, between this and Saint Seiya. Volume three, volume four, and then after four, they stop being as shiny. Five, six, you can definitely tell that that's the same artist. Seven, Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Uh, those I got super cheap from one seller. Uh, I was really happy to find that. Uh, volume twelve is a little more rare. I got this one for a really good deal. Um, <clears throat> volume thirteen also was from that first seller. And then 14 is hard to find. If anyone sees it for a good price, let your boy know. Um, it is the only volume out of the 16 that I do not have at this point. And then 15 and 16 both were the only two volumes of the series available on Right Stuff. And I know from the yellowing on these pages that they've been sitting there obviously for a while. And I like to think that the people in the warehouse were like, oh my gosh, we're finally moving this product. Um, so that series, I really don't know anything about. I don't know anything about the plot. I just know it was the same creator as Knights of Zodiac, Masami Kuramata. And it's literally only other series of his that's published in English in the U.S. aside from Knights and the Santia Show spinoff, which I realized I didn't show off all the covers for that one. It has very nice uh, artwork. I love seeing the Saints these various characters. It's going to be a really nostalgic return to this world. And I know that once I start reading this, 
I'm going to fall into a hole and I'm going to be sitting there pissed off that no one's publishing the rest of the spinoffs in English. So, yeah, there's volume nine. So that's all I got right now. Um, yeah, that's all the new stuff. Nothing else to say. Um, I Like I said, I have more pre-orders that are rolling in whenever they get released. Um, and I'll do videos to talk about those. Again, check out that video that I published. The uh, It's part of a new series that I'm going to be doing called Rare But Worth It, where I talk about different manga and comics and stuff that I have in my collection that I've read that typically that I've enjoyed myself. And I talk about whether I think that they're worth the price to track it down or worth spending your valuable time to track these volumes down for a good price. Um, and I, you know, give my, my own personal review, my thoughts on the series, uh, all that jazz, and uh, just a little background on it to kind of give people an understanding on what it is and, you know, why I enjoy it and why I think it is or isn't worth spending that much money and time on. Um, so check that out. It's called Rare But Worth It. Uh, and it is a previous video on my channel. Again, if you haven't already, if you've been watching my videos, if you enjoy my content, you enjoy what I'm doing here, um, click that subscribe button, like the video, comment, um, whatever. Just uh, I'm just trying to put out some content here because we're in a time that's really weird and I'm just trying to keep myself and others occupied uh, with cool kind of normal things out there. So stay subscribed. I promise I'm going to have a plenty of content for you guys because I got nothing better to do but read, play video games, watch TV, and make these videos. So thank you so much. Y'all stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.